Amen. With people, voices rising up saying, this is the prophetess. And what is she saying? She is opposing people. The Lord has told me, this one is not a man of God. This one is not a this is going to be a very interesting video you're about to listen from the prophet of our time prophet uba angel finally answer this lady cause tell us talking about the other ministers i've never put this thing on top of my head to say oh you know i i i think this or i think that it's never been at the forebrain because what has to do with me has to do with me this is my place here this is my orchard this is my lane the problem with my orchard and my lane is that gates you know when you go to the horse races and they're all behind those gates all the horses are behind the gates and then those gates open and the horses bolt out the problem with the orchard that i have a beautiful problem and yet a problem it is is that all the time when i'm in my orchard gates keep opening and a horse keeps running out towards the potter's house and a gate opens and another horse will run out towards lakewood and a gate will open and it will run directly all the way to nigeria to chris oyakilome and bishop adeboye and David Oyedipo, horses run across the earth from this orchard. The gates just burst open and they run towards TB Joshua. When these gates in this ministry open, people come under censure. That means they come under a harsh talking to by God. They come under judgments. Sometimes they come under the judgment of death. Sometimes they are told, Mene, Mene, Tekel, Ufarsin. This is the orchard where a massive floodgate has opened and it never shut. Your Ubert Angelses, your Shepherd Bushiris. You see these? Now you know why Prophet Uba Angel actually answered this lady. Watch this video. We are really blessed and graced as a ministry prophet to think that even if you don't go to the hospitals, sometimes you have to go through a scan. Then after the scan, they'll say, hey, the problem is this. But us as the ministry, God gave us enough spiritual apparatus. Mm, praise are, the Lord. We are doing the scans prophetically. Spiritual equipment, yes. We have the spiritual equipment. Because I saw you prophesy to someone who had fibroids. It means you scanned there. Mm. You scanned the problem. You touched the stomach. You didn't touch the wrong place. The right place. Which means we have right spiritual equipment and apparatus as a ministry, which is the grace that we possess. And we really thank God for having the prophet who can see. He's not just ministering haphazardly. He knows the right place. He knows Praise the right the problem. Praise the Lord. And I would say, say you know, I, I thank God for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying this to you. You know, you, you, you sit down sometimes on your own and just, I, I, I say, tell my sons, speak to yourself. And they're wondering, what do you mean? Just go there, sit, think, talk to yourself. And you think, what have I done to be here in this position? Amen. Nothing. You see, the Bible says to the impure, everything is impure. The reason why we can be accused, this one is stealing money. This one, because the ones who are, who are accusing us, if they were given our position, they would be stealing money. Mm. Why? Why you don't steal money? Definitely, it's reasonable for you to steal. So if they were given our positions, they will be robbing people. Mm. So they think you should be robbing people as well. Mm. You must be robbing people because I would rob. Mm. So to the impure, the Bible says, everything is impure. impure but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure and the reason why they are impure is they are defiled and they are unbelievers even their mind and conscience is defiled their thought process is wrong mm. so they'll be sitting there saying no 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 i think all these people have been paid if we are paying the thousands that have been healed mm. And then you accuse us of stealing their money. How are we making this money? We pay them to give testimonies. Then we steal their money. How? We, we sh what kind of mathematics do you do? Even if you didn't go high enough in education, just one plus one will tell you is two. 
uh, one minus one so we give them money say these things then the doctors also are paid and not one has come to say you yeah, have been paid do you see what i'm talking about there is a lot that is happening around the world that we have christians who are fighting christians because they have no message to preach Amen. they only have another man to preach another woman Amen. to preach Amen. with people voices rising up saying this is the prophetess and what is she saying she's opposing people the lord has told me this one is not a man of god this one is not a woman of god this one is not a man of god wow and do you know where they go to they meet with the people men that also oppose others they become close friends and they talk again as other men of god mm. other men of god not one of them will come up and do what she did and said i was a muslim it didn't work for me mm. no one will speak again as hindus because they're afraid to die but they speak again as other christians may god bring back the fire Amen. that we don't have to wait for shiloh that when they speak again is the power of god where they stand there should be a sign Amen. it's time for real men of god to be feared Amen. it's time Amen. that's why there's no fire so they are not afraid now we are in the hand time many we call on the name of the lord but they are working for themselves or for the devil just like also in america you hear people say the lord says and which prophet is real and which prophet is not real but our message here is for peace and we want you all to please wherever you are to be careful with this false prophet and false people who says they are the only one that is good and others are bad. Please share this video to the end. Share this video and leave your comment in the comment section. What you think about this girl, this sellers and what she's saying. Pointy hands against men of God. And as you can see, most of the men of God, she is pointing their hands on a men of God in Africa country like Nigeria why did she do what she's doing we have no idea so ladies and gentlemen please help us to share this video and tell us what you think about all this and pray for them because one of the most important thing we want you to pray for men and women all over the world even your men of god just like the bible says in second timothy chapter one verse two goodbye